Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. And in today's video, this is the last video in my What's In My Planner series. And I just wanted to take you through quickly the first section of my planner. Now, it's going to be a quick video because it's completely empty, but I've designed my own planner pages or weekly planner pages because I've been through so many and there's none that I've actually found that really suits the way I plan. And I have tried out quite a few sample pages from different companies and it, it it's just not what I actually want in a planner. So I just wanted to show you a couple of the pages that I've come up with myself to use. And, and hopefully if, if these are actually something that you're happy to use, I will try to work out how I can share that file with you. So first up, I've just got a vellum sheet in here and a little decorative what do you call them adult coloring page that I've printed off the internet so just a little bit of decoration at the front and again this one here as well I found on Pinterest it's just L for Lisa and I've just printed that off and put that in my planner as well now the first section is my monthly section now these I did not create myself. These were actually from a website called philofaxi.com. I will leave a link to their website down below. They're, they have got a huge range of different pages that you can print off for your planners. All sizes of planners, all types of pages, whether it's monthly pages, weekly pages, day to a page, they've got the lot. So I'll leave the link to their website below. These are the monthly paid, the monthly on two pages in the A5 size because these are just exactly what I want. For my monthly pages, I won't be necessarily using these to track monthly actual events, but I did want to use these to do a, uh, what do you call it, like a daily doodle. So for each day of the month, I wanted to start doing like a little doodle uh, or a little picture in each of these boxes to represent something that's happened on that day. So again, just to try and get my arty or crafty side flowing. So that's what I plan to use my monthly pages for. And I've got those printed out for the whole year for next year. Now, the next section of my diary is the actual weekly section. So what I've done is I've, this I found on Pinterest. It's just a habit tracker. So a habit tracker for the month of January. I'll be using in my planner a week on two pages. So I do use a weekly spread. But for each month, I'm going to have my habit tracker as the starting page and then I have a blank page I plan to decorate for that month. So say this is the first page, it's gonna be for January. I've got my January month in there. I've got my list of habits that I want to track in January and can fill those out there. Then on this page, I plan to do a decorative page for January, so like a title page for January. So it's kind of bringing in the bullet journal style where you're designing your own pages as well. So I plan to do that. Now these weekly pages, it, they're nothing much to look at, but this is what I've actually created for myself to use as my weekly pages because I wanted something absolutely bare that I can just then decorate myself. So what I have is six columns. I plan to use this column as a weekend column. So you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then this is a weekend column. We don't tend to do a lot on the weekend. And so Saturday, Sunday for us kind of blends into one. Like we don't necessarily have separate things we do on a Saturday and separate things we do on a Sunday. And 
with this layout it will still allow me to separate those if i need to i know when i say oh, i've designed my weekly pages you're looking at that going well you haven't really done much you've just done three columns yes i know but believe it or not like i could not find any weekly pages that were just plain because i want to be able to decorate the whole page myself i want to be able to put my own headings on um, I want to be able to put my own dates on. I want to, I don't want any lines on the columns. I want to be able to section each column off with different boxes and different pictures and different like little um, to-do lists that I can then free reign on how I decorate my planner. So at the top here will be where I'll put my sticker stickers for the, you know, the days of the week. I've got a big space down here that I can either add extra boxes to or just extra decoration, washi tape, whatever. The columns that I want to use will be used mainly for appointments, different events that are on that day and maybe quick little lists of stuff that I need to do particularly on that day like you know pick up milk post a, post a letter whatever but I will also have inserted within the middle of this page I'll have a little smaller section that I can still see the weekly spread but I'll have a smaller little page in here that will be my weekly running to-do list so I will create a list of everything that I really want to get done that week but it's not necessarily have to be done on a certain day say the cars need washing I'll put that as my my to-do list of that needs to be done on that week but it doesn't need to go on a certain day you know what I mean so that's how I plan to use my planner for next year because I want to really get into the decorating of the planning but I just wanted my pages to be fully clean and just bare minimum so that I can decorate it as I please and I've done it so that they are double-sided so when I print them off we've got the wider section on the correct um, side and so for this month so that will be January my title page you've got week one week two week three week four and then it will start with the habit tracker for February the title page for February week one week two week three week four and then March so that's what I plan to use for next year it's um yeah I'm gonna give it a go I'll give it a trial run uh, I just know I haven't found anything else yet that is suitable to the way I want to plan. I mean, planning is such an individual thing. So for some people, they might need the lines. For some people, they need a whole day per page. Clearly, it's, it's a very personal choice. But I'm hoping this will actually suit my needs and will actually force me to get into some more decorative style planning as well. So I again, I have created a template for these pages. If I've learnt or worked out how to share them with you by now, I will leave a link to that in the description box below. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this series, guys. So this series of videos is just showing you a blank template of what I plan to use in my planner for next year. And yeah, hopefully over the next couple of months, I will be sharing a few more of the decorative elements of setting up my planner and different DIYs that I'll be doing because clearly I want to be, I mean, obviously creating some nicer dividers for my planner and starting to decorate each of these pages as well as I go. So yeah, that is all I have in this what's in my planner series of videos if you have any other suggestions of what you might want to see in the planner style of videos please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below and I will definitely check them out and um, yeah keep them in mind for future videos and yeah I will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching